I look around the reception. I'm feeling so isolated amongst so many I have to reach over and calm my shaking hand. Then they go. The melancholy of the music steals the moment. Piano keeps pressing on a suffering note. The collective joy causes mine to envy, to curl up thirsty. The couple leaves an electric slide while I drink. Then I'm home. My brother holding onto my shirt, pulling it tight around my body. My mother stands by the door, anointing her oil in hand. The language of her mind struggling to understand. I'm leaning out the window, heaving, breathing, feeling like finally freed from solitary. I'm afraid to turn around. Instead, I keep my eyes on the concrete beneath, imagining my fall. Maybe two legs broken and no loss of consciousness at all. It's going to be cool, bro. I hear from behind me. He, I say, I just need some space. I'm not letting you go, bro. It's going to be cool. When I wake up, he's asleep by my feet. I can't remember the sound of my brother's laugh. I always listen for it. As they listen for a key in my door. Worry thundering floors as feet pace over and I'm told to keep my bedroom door unlocked. My brother's losing weight like I'm losing blood. He walks into my room and stops at the mattress. He stares at the multiple stab wounds. My blood in pockets all over the naked bed. He's never seen it with cheeks off and all he can say is, Rah. He hasn't looked at me. He turns to leave and I ask, is he okay? Why are you leaving? Is it me? Nah, he says and closes my door. He once asked me if I think I can beat it. Now he's sure I can't.